concentration camps and the 1998 nuclear war. It was an awesome sequence of events. Alan later became obsessed with Halo Jones, an ordinary girl just trying to survive trips to the supermarket in the outer galaxies. The relationship is still close. Her influence probably led to his concern with world events, especially the ecology debate, which resulted in his fascination with Swamp Thing. However, somehow things became a little soured, and Alan took up with Raw Shark, a mentally deranged vigilante hunted by police and criminals alike. Who knows where Alan's talent will take him next? There are rumors of dinners with Malcolm McLaren, and a large bearded man has been spotted in the Tynties area. Alan, do you think that your um, comics are escapist, or do you think that they're social comment? Well, I don't, I don't like the idea of art as escapism. I mean, there's an, a, a lot of that. I mean, Dallas Dynasty, stuff like that. I'd rather do something that actually grab people by the lapels and force their nose into sort of what's going on in society. So I try to do stuff that's going to sort of wake people up a little bit and bring the issues home, yeah. Well, what kind of issues have you dealt with? Because most people imagine comics are just filled with um, people going smack and biff. Well, there's an awful lot of men in skin tight costumes sort of trying to arm each other, you know, which is, is great, it's fun, you know, but... The stuff that I've mainly dealt with, I suppose, in Halo Jones, which is uh, the collection that's just out at the moment, that's got a lot about unemployment in it. You know, you've got all of the unemployed of America sort of shunted off to this floating hoop, you know, off the, te off the peninsula of Manhattan, so that if a wave washes them into the Pacific, then there'll be that much less sort of unemployment benefit to pay out, you know. And that's, that's the basic setup. I mean, other sort of things, just about the general sort of urban decay and women and stuff like that, racial issues, things like that. I mean, it's nice to have an audience where they're young enough so that you can actually get a message over to them, you know. Now, you work a lot for American um, comics, don't you? Why do you think that there are, that they employ English, apart from the fact you're very good, uh, why do you think they employ English writers to do American comics? Well, it's Beatlemania, really. You know, I mean, like, that they think of us as being terribly cultured and uh, just, just <laughs> generally more civilised than them, you know, and sort of so... Basically, I mean, I started to win Eagle Awards over here, which is sort of like the comic book equivalent of the Oscar, but there's only about two or three hundred British fans voting for them. We know that, but the Americans don't. They think we're, we're really famous, so they sort of uh, snapped us all up and, you know, we're all part of the brain drain and we've sort of, uh, we're all working over the other side of the Atlantic now. Now I have here a fan. A fan. A fan. Alan, where did you get the idea for Louise Cannibal? In Halo Jones. Well, yeah. I just, I just wanted, he's an eight foot tall character with tusks, basically. He's a sort of a war general. And I just wanted somebody who was sexy but sinister. You know, just somebody who was frightening and had these huge tusks sticking out, but, but was, you know, had his, his more romantic elements as well. I don't know where he came from, you know, but I was just sitting there and doodling and you, you know, you draw the tusks and you think that looks good, you know. So now, that's probably where it started. Um, uh, one of the things that struck me was that a lot of people spend an enormous amount of money on your comics. It's not sort of 10p, is it? They're sort of £22 for an only a three-year-old yeah. issue. It, it horrifies me. I mean, there's, there's people who actually treat this as an investment. You know, I mean, I think the Wall Street Journal noticed that sort of the best investment a couple of years ago was not gold, but copies of the X-Men, because they're just appreciated in value that much, and it's ridiculous. But I think I suppose if people uh, are sort Stop, of, stop. We have to stop here because we're Not about time. to have a tenuous link into Frankie Goes to Hollywood with 